When it comes to pursuing a career or business dream that seems completely unrealistic for where we are right now in our journey, we can sometimes put it off saying that it's too much, it's too big, who am I to do this? I'm not good enough, I need more experience. And the truth of the matter is that you owe it not only to yourself, but to others to get out of your own way and go after that big dream of yours. If you find yourself putting yourself down before you've even had the chance to explore your career or business dream, then this week's episode is for you. I'm Siobhan Barnes, founder of the Neon Life Society, and I want to talk to you about why it's important to go after that big, crazy career or business dream, even if it seems unrealistic. The truth of the matter is, no one wins when you're suffering in a job that you don't love. You know that because when you show up to work every day, you feel miserable, you resent the job, you hate the work that you're doing, and you start to become a little bit bitter and miserable. I know this because I've seen this happen to myself in my own life and have seen this happen with clients too. And really, the only thing that you can do is take back control of the situation and make a decision to say, I'm not gonna put up with this. I am going to make a positive change and do what I can to go after a career or a business that truly lights me up. And if your dream or your business seems a little bit crazy, it's not reasonable, you don't seem to have the apparent skill set or you don't seem to have what it takes to make it happen, I'm here to tell you, you do, okay? You owe it to yourself and to others. And here are three reasons why. When you're in a job that you don't love, you actually start to build up that resentment that I talked about, become bitter, become miserable, and you radiate a really negative energy to those around you. You know, it's not pleasant. I think we've all had that experience of having to go to a certain function or meet a friend or, you know, go to a client meeting when you really don't want to go. And there's that hesitancy and reluctance and the other person can feel it. You know, they know when you're when you've checked out, when you're not there. And that's what happens when you're in a job you don't love. So you need to take back control for the sake of other people who don't want to be in that negative energy. Number two, you owe it to yourself to really step into that full potential of yours. There is no pride. There is no, you know, badge of honor with playing small. We need you to shine as big and bright as you are. Use those talents, use those gifts, use those strengths, use that beautiful personality of yours to do what you are uniquely called to do. There is no one in the world who does what you do the way you do it, and it's up to you to figure that out, unfortunately. You know, we don't get taught how to do this in school, and it's your responsibility to think about what you can do to make yourself happy and make a contribution to others. Number three, you want to be a positive role model for other people. You know, I'm a mom about to be a mom of three, and this is really front and center of my mind, not only as a mother, but as I think about my children growing up and entering the workforce or starting their own businesses in future, I know that they're going to look towards role models who inspire them. They're going to look towards leaders who are leading in a balanced way and aligning with the right values. And right is obviously subjective to everybody. But I do think that more of us women who are more conscientious, a little bit more heart-based and actually caring and loving about other people, the planet, the environment, these are the women that need to be in positions of power, making positive change and being the role model to the future generations and also for the other women around them. So I really encourage you to get out of your own way, step out of the shadows and embrace who you really are. There is no one in the world who can do what you do the way you do it. So really take the time to explore what that is because we want to see you shine. We want to see you playing big and we want to see you making an impact in the world. Now, I want to hear from you. What is stopping you from stepping into that big career or big business dream of yours? Leave a comment below and we can work out what you can do to move forward. Lots of love.